Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to do a review on Quince. If you're like me, you would have seen tons of ads on social media and the rise of Quince. And you might have been curious, are they any good? Actually, a friend of mine ordered a bunch of summer dresses from Quince and she said, hey, they're actually pretty good. So that piqued my interest. And then I recalled that many months ago, some of you had asked me to review a handbag from Quince. And at the time, I didn't have a handbag to review. But now, as you can see, I've got one in here. I've also got a denim jacket that I picked up and a linen dress that I've been wearing all summer. So I'm going to share with you my personal opinions on each item so let's open this up quick reveal so this is the dust bag it says quince and if you're not familiar i believe quince is a direct-to-consumer because i haven't seen any stores any brick and mortar they are just on their website and this bag here is called the italian leather box shoulder bag so it's got a pretty generic name but it describes what it is italian leather it's calf leather, according to the website's description. And it's got a very sort of simple, minimalist, kind of timeless look to it, right? It's got the rectangular rounded silhouette. It's got a nice little aged brass hardware here. Opens with a clasp, like so. I'll open this up. It has some compartments. This bag is brand new. I have not used it. I am planning to do a giveaway with this bag, you guys. I ordered this bag because I wanted to test it out for you. You guys know I've been kind of a guinea pig over the last few years trying to be the uh, consumer reports of handbags, if you will. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got a main compartment. It looks pretty roomy. I'm going to compare this bag with some other bags that I own in a minute. And then you've got this compartment up front and then you've got a small little slip pocket here actually it's not that small it's fairly roomy and then you've got this zippered compartment okay so if you wanted to keep some cash in here for extra security you could do that I could have taken this tag off you know what let me do it even though I want to do a giveaway I'm gonna take the tag off completely so you can get a good look it'll still be in new pristine condition when the time comes for me to do the giveaway so the back has no back pocket looks very clean sleek and then the way it closes is just like that so it's pretty secure and then you've got this shoulder strap and it's completely removable if you wanted to undo the buckle and just pull it out through here but I don't know why you would do that I mean it's clearly a shoulder slash crossbody bag so you need a strap for it this matches perfectly it has one two three four five holes so not that many holes, but five holes, and you can punch another one here if you needed for adjustability. And then you've got the two little leather tabs to keep the strap down. So very, very simple. This is listed on the website for $149.90, so it's just under $150. Bucks. What I like about Quince, what I've learned about Quince, is that they're all about price transparency and also sustainability. On the website, it tells you the traditional retail price, which is an estimate of how much you would pay if you bought this from a retail store. So it says $550 for this particular handbag, which is very different from $150, right? So they're cutting out the middleman. I've been sharing with you lots of different brands this year where they are direct to consumer and that saves a lot of overhead for the companies and they're not spending a lot of money on overhyped like marketing or celebrity endorsements as well. So you're cutting out a lot in the budget and so they're really focused on the production and getting the item to you. So that is going to save us a lot of money as customers. So let me just put this down for a second. I wanted to bring over my mini Monceau bag from Ateliers Auguste, which is a French brand based in Paris. I have featured them quite a few times. This is also a very simple silhouette, very similar, and I thought you might be interested in a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is a beautiful chocolatey brown, and it is slightly bigger in silhouette compared to this mini Monceau. Now keep in mind the Monceau comes in a larger original size, so that's gonna be a little bit different, but the mini Monceau on the right compared to this Quince bag on the left looks like so. There are a lot of bags these days with this very simple classic silhouette. So it really depends on your budget, how much you wanna spend. Here's what it looks like side to side. The Atelier's Auguste version is going to be a couple hundred more. Okay, different kind of feel on the leather. This has a little bit more of a smooth, well, they're both smooth, but this has more of like a slick, polished feeling. This, even though it's smooth, I will tell you it feels a little bit sandy. I don't know why, 
but it has a sandy feel to it even though it's very smooth to the eye. Stitching looks really nice. Stitching looks really nice on this as well. So they are very similar but different in their own way as you can see, right? And the strap on this looks like so. And this is a magnetic closure. Then if you really wanted to go high end, I also have the Celine Classic box bag. This is in the medium size. I believe this has now been discontinued. I did a video on it a while ago. The Celine Triumph bag has now sort of replaced the old Phoebe Philo era. And this is from the Phoebe era. But I want to show you because a lot of you really like this timeless look. But this is thousands of dollars, even on the pre-loved market, used in excellent condition. It's going to be, you know, over a thousand dollars. So this is gonna be a fraction, the one from Quince, but very different feeling. So this is box leather as well, but this is definitely shinier as you can see. And again, it feels really slick, liquidy to the touch. Whereas this, there is some grainy, not grainy, like sandy texture under my fingertips that only my fingertips can feel. I cannot see with the eye, so it's interesting. So it must be a different way of finishing the leather. The Celine Classic box bag is definitely bigger. Again, this is the medium size. There's also the teen size, which will be smaller, but I wanted to compare this for you since this is the version that I have. Here's what it looks like. It opens like so, and then you've got the accordion compartments if you're not familiar with this bag. So I do think this is a very nice option for an everyday practical no frills kind of bag and it is fairly affordable considering it's italian calf leather it's under 150 bucks right and it's free shipping and i believe it's 365 day free return which gave me peace of mind so here are some random items that i brought over just to show you what might fit in this quinn's bag so you pop it open here we have it oh i will tell you the flap is it's not super stiff but it's on the stiffer side it's a little bit more structured so there's going to be some pulling that happens here i don't know over time if there will be any glazing issues like on the old lv pochette matisse then they recalled it and fixed the issue and it's been better but anytime you have a flap bag like this and you open and close it, if you're not careful and there's glazing, it can start to crack over time. But I do think it will give a little bit more flexibility after a few months of use, maybe a few weeks of use. But here's what it looks like on the inside. Here's an iPhone Pro Max largest size case. Fits very, very easily as you can see with room to spare. And also if you wanted to travel with this bag, I think it's a great idea because it's quite discreet, but it will go with so many outfits. You can dress it up or down and it's not going to, uh, you know, solicit unwanted attention while you're traveling. You don't want anything eye popping, super designer with logos everywhere. And it's very secure with this clasp. And you saw, I put my passport right in there. Very nice, fits nicely there. It can also fit in the back portion. Of course, it will fit here as well. It will not fit in the zippered compartment. It's just too tight. See, it's almost the exact same length, but you can put some cash in there or cards. Oh, I didn't realize there's another back pocket here. That's even more secure. So guys, love the compartments. So there, you can really sneak that in there. You see that? So there's one, two, three, four, five pockets in total, including the main compartment. And then if you wanted to carry a, a pochette or a little mini catch-all, just like so, a brown on brown matches nicely. You can pop some sunglasses on top, hand lotion, whatever you need. Here's my little mini wallet from Dress Up Your Purse. I would probably put it horizontally like this just so I can grab it easily and then lay some smaller stuff on the top, pack of tissues maybe, but it's a compact bag. It's not a huge spacious bag. It's just for everyday essentials, okay? And it's fairly lightweight. In fact, let me weigh it for you. All right, I've got my trusty scale and the bag is completely empty, but I have left the strap attached and it's coming in at one pound, 8.6 ounces, so roughly a pound and a half for all leather and the compartments and pockets inside. 
And then this is a lovely linen dress that I picked up and it was only $50. It was like $49.90. And it's this really nice deep navy blue. I got it in extra small. It's got these pearly white buttons, v-neck collar. It's just super light. It was so, so hot all summer. And it's a really nice long kind of midi length and it's got this tie that you can remove but it, it cinches the waist so I will show you what this looks like with the bag I'll give you some mod shots but I quite like the fabric quality here it is European flax linen according to the website's description and it says that it's more sustainable to grow and requires less resources it's less intensive to grow so I love that they consider all these things and for under 50 bucks it's a really nice dress that I can wear every summer season or on vacations I think it'll last quite a while And then I have been on the search for a classic denim jacket for a long time, actually. I looked at Banana Republic and J. Crew, and I looked at High End. I looked at, you know, No Name, Mid Range. I looked at many, and this one jumped out at me because there's no branding other than the tag here. There's no branding. So even on the buttons, it's just this rose gold button detail. And there's nothing. It's just so clean. And I love the color. This is a very true blue classic denim. Love the lines on this, the pockets. And the reason why I emphasize the buttons is because I don't know why I'm such a stickler for this, but other denim jackets that I've seen, it will say the name of the brand on the button. And I just don't love that. I feel like it's unnecessary, like on every single button. And I'm thinking, really? So I like the simplicity of this. This was $9.90. And... I just think it's really timeless and classic again. So these are items that will never go out of style. And a lot of times these days, we know that when we pay a lot of money for high-end brands, that does not guarantee quality, unfortunately. And also, just because you pay a good price doesn't mean that it's cheap quality. So I will link everything down below in my description box so you can find it easily. But I also recommend you just head over to the Quince website and just poke around and see what else might be of interest to you. Now, at some point, I may do a giveaway with this bag. You guys know that I have done so many giveaways in the last few years. Oftentimes, I will try out bags for my own sake but also for you guys to do reviews and I know that in the end I can't keep them all so I gift them away I give them away I donate them so just stay tuned there will be a giveaway coming um, maybe in the fall I think this bag would be beautiful for fall autumn just the color of it right so stay tuned so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all next time bye bye